What is up, friends, takeover people, random person coming across this video, whoever you are, sports fan, welcome, welcome. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am not an unboxing guy. I am not a box breaker, um, just generally. But I thought this might be a fun little one because it, it goes into a topic that I've covered on this channel before here on Takeover TV. Um, if you've seen my earlier videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of these uh, sets, the factory sets that get made. And that's because I made this one video about how it's, it's not the sexiest play in the world, but as a sports card flipper slash collector, um, this is one of my favorite ways to almost certainly make money. Um, it does take a certain amount of your time. So I know some people don't like having a bunch of cards around, a bunch of the same cards or whatever, but these tend to be a pretty safe play. So what I like doing, and I encourage you to go back and watch the other video earlier on, but there's there's so many cards in these factory sets. This one, there's 180. Um, I don't remember offhand. I should have written it down, the price that I paid for these, but you can look online to see what they're going for. Um, and I encourage you to maybe see if they're on uh, storefront websites rather than eBay, because more than likely, if you're finding them on eBay, you're finding someone who's got them with an elevated price. You might find a good deal, who knows, but that's just what I think. Um, but I like taking these sets and I like piecing them out. Now I'm set up for doing that because if you've been with me for a while, I do sales on Twitter and a lot of my sale is based on quantity of cards because I've got so many people collecting different things. Um, they want to see a vast array of things. Not that they don't like seeing the high end stuff too, but it's not my play to just show up with, you know, five big cards or something like that and then sell them. Um, my play is in quantity. So with this, it's easy for me to buy the set, open it up, take the cards. You know exactly what's in here. When it's a set, they're just literally giving you what is in the set and then piecing them out, selling them to the right collectors, yada, yada, yada. And I usually come up on top. You can easily like look at that very thing and be like, okay, these are the cards that's in here. This is how many cards are in the set. This is how much I'm paying. This is how much I need to make per card. So you can break that down to see if it's even worth it to you to do that. I just find for myself that generally it is. So I grabbed three of these. And the fun thing about this set too is it's not just a matter of um, breaking down the price per card and then piecing it out. But these sets also come with five autographs per box on average. So, you know, we hit the right guy in there. We've we might come out even faster on top kind of deal. But I already know in my head that I've, the dollar amount that I needed to do that made it worthwhile, even without factoring in the fact that they're autographs. So I bought three of these boxes. I'm gonna open them up now. I won't go through the entire set because you can look up online what's in there, but maybe we'll just kind of scan through, see what the cards look like together and then check out the autographs. Um, I should also note too, this is not the regular NBA, this is, the G League, the debut edition of cards. And the G League is interesting because this is kind of, you know, if you're not familiar, it's the step down kind of, it used to be the developmental league, the D League in the NBA. So these are where teams will send their young developing players or maybe guys that are rehabbing from an injury or something like that. But now the other interesting thing is that with the rules changing about um, going to college before the NBA, some players are opting into playing their first year in the G League instead of the NBA. So I don't remember exactly who's all on the autograph checklist, but there's maybe a possibility that we pull an up and coming guy that's gonna be a draft pick or is a rookie now or something like that. You know, we'll, we'll see what we got. I was just going to make a comment about how these boxes reminded me of Gatorade, and then I forgot that it's literally the G League because Gatorade sponsors it. All right. Okay, so the autographs are right on top. I'm going to save those for the end. Um, might as well just crack all these open now and get the autographs out so that after we take a peek at how some of the cards in the set look. 
we can just scan through the autographs. All right, all right. And the NBA is right around the corner. The season starts um, next week, so this is kind of fun. I wanted it to stay on my hand. Okay, so for style of cards here, um, it's not the most exciting design in the world. They actually kind of remind me of the Panini Instant cards you can get. Um, but, you know, it's uh, photos of G League players. It's not going to look like Prism. Let's just scan through and see if there's any notable names that jump out at me right away. Um, you know, there might be someone in here too, Damian Dotson. There might be some people who pay more attention to the G League than I do. I know, like, guys from my own teams that go down to the G League. Um, love this guy's hair. Taco Fall, super tall dude, used to play for the Celtics. Okay, so they've got these uh, teams um, in, they're, they're in order of team. So I'm gonna have to go through there and scan, find what people's pro teams are and then find their G League players, but at least it's already in order by team. That's actually super nice and convenient for me for sales purposes on Twitter. Now let's look at the autographs. Um, first box, we've got Josh Hall for the Raptors G League squad. Michael Foster Jr. And I might say some of these names wrong, who knows? Mitch Ballack. Pretty sure that's the Cavs G League team. Justin Smith. And uh, Javin Delorier. Probably said that wrong, that's fine. I will get these re-sleeved. They come in one single thick uh, penny sleeve on top. Just something to note. Sometimes they come in their own wrapper to open, but not in this case. All right, second box. Let's look at these autographs. Trudier Bile, I think, if I said his name right. Micah Potter. Oh, here's a guy I know. Leangelo Ball. It's actually a pretty cool, cool one. I know he's not up to the levels of his brothers Lamelo and Lonzo, but just having the name alone keeps him there. This dude, I would completely butcher his name, so maybe I shouldn't even try, but here we go. Georgie Bizanishvili. I can almost hear you guys laughing on the other end of the camera. And, uh, oh, Derek Walton Jr. All right, let's check the last box, see what's in there. Starting with a Derek Walt Walton Jr. right on top again. Closed him out on the last one, started him on this one. Brandon Rishal. Oh, I got one of my Timberwolves G League players. Isaiah Miller. Marjan Bouchon. 
Probably butcher that once again. Starting to feel like I'm saying soccer names out here. And uh, I'm gonna guess this is Trey Holder, T-R-A. So yeah, it's, um, I mean, I'm excited PC's out. It's gonna get me interested in guys that I might normally not watch. I'm always a big fan of that. When I can open something and pull a card of a guy and then suddenly it makes me wanna watch him, I think that's really cool. Um, I will be piecing those out on my Twitter sales and takeovers here soon. Um, that's once again, like, you know, not the biggest fan of that design, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't expect very much though, but once again, it goes back into my play of, you know, I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna more than break even. Like there's, um, there's just something to be said about those factory sets. And I think that it's really worthwhile looking into them. And I hope that this encourages you to look around and see what factory sets might work for you. Um, I will see you guys soon. Peace and love.